Hey everyone, welcome to Zurich. Um, in my last video, I talked about what I really, really worried about um, in terms of getting COVID-19. It was not the disease itself, but something that might happen to make me sick if I do get the disease. Go watch that video. It has nothing to do with COVID-19 itself, and it's a much bigger problem than uh, just the, this current uh, situation. But there's another big worry that I have in terms of uh, the, the medical community. And that is uh, when we do finally have a vaccine for COVID-19 that they might force it upon the population. Um, I almost forgot about this problem. I thought I had outgrown uh, mandatory vaccination. I mean, I did get them when I was a kid and um, I, I, I don't think I reacted too well to them. And I thought this was a problem that had completely dissipated after I left high school. But not long ago, I was looking at a, at a job opening, and they said that you needed to be up to date on uh, the MMR vaccine. I think this was shortly after uh, the uh, measles epidemic, or so-called epidemic, uh, in Disney World a few years ago. Unfortunately, a lot of people poison their immune system. If you, I, I believe in Disney World, they even have this exhibit of, of Coca-Cola from all around the world so you can drink it and then you could get sick with all sorts of problems that shouldn't um, even be a big problem, right? A hundred years ago, people used to try to get measles because it would strengthen their immune system. And now we think it's a death sentence. And I think that goes to show how, uh, the, the number we have done to our immune system over the last hundred or so years, right? And um, I didn't apply for that job. I need to see what I need to do to get some kind of medical exemption. Fortunately, the, the, the state that I live in, the state that where the job was, uh, we haven't been dumb enough to, uh, to uh, force it on everyone, regardless of their situation, right? Uh, I need to find out how to do that. I ended up taking a different job, but I probably should get the paper, the papers in place just in case something else like that comes up again. But it made me worry about COVID-19 and eventually what they might force us to do, right? I mean, they've already forced us to, to wear a mask in public and social distancing. They've forced businesses to close down. It's really sad because in the suburb of Seattle where I live in, um, just the other day I saw a sign and it said, we're closed until March 31st, if you can believe it. And the entire business has folded and that, that place is now under construction. And the sign saying we're closed until March 31st is still on there. I almost wanted to cry when I saw that. Anyways, it's made me think about the idea of, of leaving the country, especially, especially for uh, some of the European Union countries or even Switzerland. Um, it, they definitely are much more forward thinking, much more open minded to some of these things. Um, I have a, a dating profile and I just changed the cities to uh, mingle with other people in um, some of those cities. I hope I can marry into one of these citizenships. Uh, that's why I've been using the dating profiles from other cities. Um, unfortunately, uh, I had a dating profile in uh, Gdansk, Poland not long ago, and I was really getting along with a girl there, but unfortunately they stopped their quarantine before we did. I was hoping at the end of quarantine, I would travel there and just pretend that I was a, uh, um, uh, studying there or maybe working there the whole time and uh, fake it before you make it, right? And then I could marry her and then inherit her citizenship. Unfortunately, their quarantine ended before ours did and I had to, I had to uh, fess up, you know, that I, uh, I, 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 I like their um, culture a lot better and I'm uh, hoping to meet people there. Right now I'm in Zurich with my dating profile to see how that turns out, but I think they're handling COVID-19 a lot because they're not poisoning their immune systems. And um, I hope we, we learn that. I mean, yes, I think we should social distance. Yes, I think we should put on a mask, but I think at the same time, we gotta make ourselves less of a vector of disease in the first place. Thanks for watching.